Hey there, everyone. Mark Satterfield here. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're having a great Sunday, getting ready for uh, Fourth of July in just a couple of days. It's uh, going to be uh, it's going to be hot here in Pinehurst, North Carolina. I feel like the weatherman always telling you what the weather is here. But anyway, I figured, you know, you're you're probably interested to one degree or another. But anyway, it is. Uh, it is going to be a hot day today. For some reason, my friends uh, Sandy and Craig and Marion and I are going to go play golf at one o'clock in the afternoon when it's going to be a balmy 96 degrees. So we'll see how long we last. But anyway, hope you're having a great uh, great Sunday. Uh, got a, a short article for you today. And it's right below this video. So click on the link and uh, get it. I post every day, uh, well, pretty much every day uh, on the uh, on the LinkedIn newsletter. So uh, if you're not a subscriber, please, uh, please become one. Uh, that way you don't uh, miss an issue because that would not be uh, that would not be good. But today's uh, is uh, titled that. Uh, or the focus of, of the article is that the affluent get bored pretty easily with our stuff. And, you know, hey, we can't really blame them because, look, they get pitched everything over and over and over again. And guess what? Most of us sound exactly the same. You know, I can't tell you how many times I get little messages going, could you use three or four new clients next week? I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good pitch the first time it was done, but that was like about eight years ago. And most of the stuff that is sent out is pretty repetitive. And most of the marketing that we that we do is, you know, rather boring. But now, look, if you're focused on, you know, the middle class, if you're focused on people that don't get a lot of marketing material, hey, you can probably get away with it. But otherwise, you got to be creative. You got to stand out. And in uh, today's article, I share a couple of uh, a couple of ideas for you, some things you can do that are uh, are creative. And, you know, you want to be thinking whenever you do something, you know, is this something that the affluent are sincerely going to be interested in? So, for example, you know, let, let's talk about, you know, golf and uh, because, you know, we're here in Pinehurst and uh, we we'll talk about uh, golf and putting together the, you know, prototypical golf outing. Well, you know, to be honest with you, it's been done to death. The really affluent don't need to play golf with you. They can play golf, you know, pretty much, you know, with anybody they want. So hosting a golf event in, you know, your club there in, you know, St. Louis or Des Moines or Cedar Rapids or wherever. And I'm sure you got delightful golf courses there, but, you know, the golf, uh, you know, it's just, you know, been there, done that. Now you're here in Pinehurst and you do a golf outing and you do it on the legendary Pinehurst number two which is where the U.S. Opens are held. And by the way, we're hosting the 2024 U.S. Golf Open. Uh, so if uh, if you're interested in that, you ought to come to, uh, come to Pinehurst. And when you're here, hey, say hey to me. But look, that would be special. That's a bucket list kind of thing. I got a buddy who uh, was really, really smart. What he did was uh, he uh, invited a small group of uh, prospective clients to uh, do what he called golf with guns. And it started off with a brief uh, overview of uh, shotguns and the history of the, the particular type of shotguns. He had a shotgun expert come out, give a short, fun uh, lecture. And then they went out and did a bunch of trap and skeet shooting. I mean, it was total fun, total awesome. And yeah, it was something these people don't get pitched every day. So the uh, long and short of it is we want to be creative. We want to be thinking to ourselves before we send out a promotion of, hey, have they heard this before? And uh, if they have, what's a way that we can you know, stretch it one way, stretch it the other, do it differently, you know? That's where the creativity comes in. And fortunately, I got you covered in the creativity uh, department in chapter four of my book, The Affluent Marketing Blueprint. Hey, you didn't think I wasn't going to try to sell you something, and I am, and it's uh, it's my book. And of course, we're giving away free copies. Uh, just help me out with the shipping and handling. Or if you hate those kinds of promotions, and I get it, some people do, hey, you can go to Amazon and get it for 16 bucks. Uh, and hey, I'm you know, happy, happy to take your money. But the 
the most important thing is that you get the book because it's got a lot of great ideas on how you can create marketing for the affluent in a way that is creative, that's interesting, that gets them to kind of raise their hand and express that initial interest in who you are and what you have to offer. So check out the article. It's right below us. Uh, and uh, I think you're going to find it interesting. It's short. So it'll only take you like about two minutes to read, but you know, good, really good food, uh, food for thought. And of course, if you know of others who are trying to get more wealthy and affluent clients, Hey, Tell them about uh, this YouTube channel. Tell them about the, uh, the the newsletter. You know, spread spread the love. I would certainly appreciate it. Okay, so hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I will be back uh, back with you tomorrow, which is Monday, uh, the day before Fourth of July which is a special day, which I've talked about before and probably talk about some more on the 4th. But uh, until then, this is Mark Satterfield. Bye for now.